Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited to show you guys today's set. I literally had to show you it at the start of the video. That's how excited I was about today's design. I absolutely love it. It is so, so effective in person. I think the video is not doing it any justice. So we've got a new, which was Food Coma. We've got Pink Me Up from Madame Glam again, and that's our pink that we're going to use. We've got a red from Vendelisa, and we are using a matte top coat from McCart. We do have some red stamp stamping polish from Born Pretty and we also have two stamping plates both from Moe London actually and both from their Love Valentine's collection which I actually have no idea when they've come out. I kind of feel like Moe London kind of stopped coming out with plates. I don't know I just feel like I don't really he hear anything about them anymore. They're not coming out with new colours. It almost looks like they've started um, entering like a different market. No longer stamping they're doing more like those stickers that you put onto your nails and then you cure them and they kind of do your nails so they seem to be trying to um dabble into different products in the nail industry so unfortunately they're not really coming out with anything too often anymore which is such a shame because i'm in the uk and i believe they're in the uk um and if they're not they are just very easily accessible here so um we don't really have a lot of other companies around here so it's a shame that they're not really coming out with anything new but i do have some of the older pleats so we're going to use those today anyways back to the video we've got two nails that are nude one fully fully red one fully pink and the last but not least nail our fifth nail is going to be an ombre and we are going to ombre that pink and we're also going to ombre the red the red is um, very quickly running out now. <laughs> I'm basically on the little last scrapes of it. I'll have to um, bend the brush and also pop the bottle on its side to get the last little bits out. But I have to say, look at that red. It's so, so pigmented. I was in disbelief. And the product consistency of Venelise is a bit more liquidy compared to like Madame Glam, which is why I love Madame Glam so much because I just love the consistency of their um, gel polishes. But although it's so liquid and you think that it'll be not as good, the pigment on that red is unbelievable. So definitely recommend it. I ended up getting mine on AliExpress a long time ago now. So I'm not too sure if, if they are still available on there. But I know Vanilla's have their own website or I'm sure they'll be on Amazon. So give them a little look. So we did sugar one of the red nails that I had. Well, I think the only fully red nail that I had. And um, we sugared out on the wet layer of the red gel polish and we cured it in place. Now that nail is all done and dusted. We've got four more nails to tackle. So we are going to have two nails that are going to be identical, which is our French tip nails. I feel like I'm constantly doing these same two French tip nails, but they're just so unreal. And whenever you're struggling with designs, those are easy, usually the easiest ones to do. Um, you've kind of already got yourself two nails done and dusted, basically. So I did two layers of the pink on the French tip and we did of course two of those and here I've picked out the three nails that we're going to stamp on today. So on this plate here, it's actually the first time I'm using this plate and I think I ended up getting it last year so it has unfortunately waited a whole year before it's been used and I really like that it had the words love on there so I thought let me try and incorporate it in the design. I'm working on humongous stiletto nails so I've got so much space to be creative and even attempt to place the whole love word on one nail which is what I did today so I am stamping the words love down the center going downwards on the nail so we've got lo at the moment ve left to go I've got two stampers today I thought I'll give a little go trying to work with two at once because usually I just work with one but um yeah, I just thought, I see, I see usually pro stampers, got a bunch of stampers at hand, they're kind of picking up a bunch of things at one time, so I thought, you know what, <laughs> let's give that a go, so that's what I'm doing here. It was, I mean, fine, was it more time effective? Um, kind of, I guess, I guess so, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, so now we are working on the French tip nails, which of course they're both going to be identical. And I really, really enjoyed the beautiful tiny little heart pattern that they've got going on on this nail. So we are going to attempt to stamp the heart only on the tip part of the nail. You will notice that I do go over the lines because it's a little bit hard to stamp um, the heart only on that pink bit, especially if you, as you've got the side walls of the French tip, which it's a bit hard to cover without getting it on the nude part. 
Um, so if you do go over any bits, just grab yourself a lint-free wire with some acetone and just clean around the edges, clean around the center, and you're good to go, which is exactly what I did. I didn't include it in today's video, but just a couple of videos ago, I believe I did include it. I did something very similar. So if you just look on my channel and on a thumbnail where it looks like I've stamped something on the French tip part, click on that and it should show you what I did and how I did it. Um, and now we're going to do the other nail too here and there is a little bit of almost like a heart or two missing right at the tip of each nail and I believe I added an extra heart or two off camera real quick just to cover that up because when I was actually doing um, filming I didn't notice just after I finished stamping I start cleaning up the stamping plates and getting ready for the next stage of the nail design I noticed that possibly there's a couple of hearts missing so we went in and covered that up so at this stage of the design I am now top coating and I am going in with a matte top coat today I am using a McCart top coat I don't mind it I would not recommend it though I just find it a little bit hard to use like it cures weirdly under the lamp and yeah it's just not not a favorite unfortunately but um if you wanted something good <laughs> madam glam got a nice velvet one and also nail nails do a really really nice one so give them a little look they're super super nice now that the nails are all matte and done we can start working on our ombre nail which originally i was planning to just keep as is but you all know me i cannot restrain myself from adding extra bits and bobs to nails because just doing a colour and a top coat is just, I don't know what it is with me, I just can't do it. I just cannot do it. So I decided to use some red and I outlined a French tip, which I wished I did it a little bit thinner, but I feel like I just kept perfecting it and perfecting it and it was just getting thicker and thicker. <laughs> so if you're going to recreate it, I would recommend doing it thinner. Personal opinion, I just feel like it would have looked a little bit better. Um, It doesn't look bad, it was just... Yeah, just my preference, I guess. And I'm just doing basically an outline of a French tip. And I'm doing the side walls and I'm doing a small line, but I am not colouring it in. And into the wet layer of the nail, I am going to sprinkle on some red glitter. So it's almost like we're doing a sugared French tip look. Like a little spin on a French tip. So here's the red glitter. Just sprinkling it on. If you're curious where I'm getting my glitters from, I get all of my, or at least most of my glitters from Larissi. I have a link in the description. It should save you guys some money off if you shop with them with my link. And they're literally the best place for glitter. You'll find millions of glitters on there. Wholesale options, non-wholesale options, everything on there. If you've got a craft business, if you've got, you want to start a glitter business, that is the place to go. Trust me. So now that that's cured, we can start working on our crystal placement and that will be the last stage of our nail design. So I've got these pinky, I don't know, rhinestone-y little things. So I've placed one right at the top. Um, I get mine on AliExpress. I believe all of the charms and crystals and everything I'm using today are from AliExpress. So I placed at the top. Then I've got these two pinky crystals and they're almost like... They're not diamonds. They're kind of... I don't know. I know I'm pretty bad with um, crystal names, but... What you see on the screen is what it is and then I'm placing three of those pinky things again at the bottom right next to each other. I wish I had different sizes. When I was doing this design I went back online to see if they do have different sizes to buy the smaller ones. But those are actually the smallest one that they had. So unfortunately I don't have smaller ones or can get smaller ones. Um, you can get bigger. So I have considered getting bigger. But when you get the big ones, it's almost like a one-off, you know, you kind of, you can only really use one of them mixed in with the other crystals and stuff. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm now um, just popping some cover beads in between crystals. And then also the bottom pinky little circle that we've placed, the charm or whatever you want to call it. I'm going in with some rhinestone glue gel oh, right now. Just going all around it. Only the one though. And I'm just going to pop caviar beads all around them and we are going to do of course again the exact same crystal placement on the other french tip nail which i'll just do off camera at that point because it's just repetitive it's the exact same thing happening just on the other nail um i feel like it's been a while since i've actually included the caviar bead placement so here's a little treat today i've actually included it in the video and now for the love nail um i decided to just do a bunch of dots of rhinestone glue gel all around the love 
word <laughs> on the sides mainly because that's where we've got most space and I'm going to place super small AB crystals into those little rhinestone gels dots that I've created although when I'm filming this video the dots the crystals that I used were still too big so in the finale um, little clip right at the end of the video I do actually switch this nail around and I show you a nail that I did with sm slightly smaller ever so slightly but it's just still even though this was a small size it was still very large because of the amount of crystals I was placing on this nail and it was just a bit too much for me so I did switch it around and I use even smaller crystals um, that I had so here's a little tip and I'm just gonna finish it off pop it into the lamp I'll pop onto my little stand and I'll show you guys the final results in just a second of course if you're gonna recreate it just pause the video take a snippet or just keep it on your screen and feel free to recreate them um, and yeah here are the final results. I hope you guys liked it. I'll have as many links as I can in the description. If you did like the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.